That mayoral race less than a month away and voters right here in Missouri's fifth largest city will decide who becomes their next mayor. But the question is, if Mayor Eileen Weir wins, what happens next? There's no obligation for any candidate to campaign. Um, my name will appear on the ballot on April the 5th. On February 17th, incumbent independence, Mayor Eileen Weir said in part, after much consideration, I have come to the difficult decision to concede the April general election. At Monday night's city council meeting, she made it clear she's not out of this race just yet. I never said I was withdrawing, so I said I was ceasing my campaign. Leaving Colleen Huff, who narrowly lost the chance to advance to the general election, feeling frustrated. I lost by 106 votes, which could only be 50 households. It was sickening for me. It was sickening to see that she had done this and disenfranchised so many voters. Weir's name will remain on the ballot. If she wins the election, she would either assume the role or resign. Working for you, we reached out to the mayor. She has not responded. The city charter says if a vacancy occurs in the office of mayor or other council member 15 months or more before the next general city election, the vacancy shall be filled by a successor elected at a special election. It just led me to believe that this was probably pre-planned prior to the primary. All of this coming against the backdrop of a city investigation into the misuse of hundreds of thousands of dollars in overtime money in the police department. And this general election will be held on April 5th. On the ballot, you will see incumbent Mayor Eileen Rear, along with State Rep Roy Rowland. There's also a registered write-in candidate, current city councilman Mike Steinmeier. In Independence, I'm Malik Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.